Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Dishonored, the Brigmore Witches. Almost called it the Knife of Dunwall. We are done with that. We have our disguise. Uh, we're disguised as an overseer investigating this interrogation that went horribly awry of one of the Brigmore Witches. That is what the overseer that we're disguised as is here to do. Today, we're getting into the off-limit zones of the prison. Because we have to break someone out in order to get her boat. I love that you can open the door through this man to choke him out. Uh, this... Oh? This is going to... How did you not see me? This is going to make clearing this floor out a lot easier uh, with those two dealt with. Because it means we can hide here pretty easily. We won't be spotted through the bars. We can wait on this guy to walk away and then choke him out. And then we can also dump him back here where the other patrolling guards won't be able to find him. And he his body won't be spotted by anyone from the other side of the bars. There's no one else who's going to patrol through that main uh, junction that we had access to, that we had permission to walk around it. There's nobody up here on the third floor. This isn't locked. This one is. But we don't, for the time being, have any need to go there. We still don't actually know where her cell is. So that's our next objective, is getting access to that logbook. There were three guards in this room. I think it looks like at least one of them just left. No one's going to patrol in from either way on the second floor. Okay, yeah. So one guard went left, the other guard went right, one stayed right here. So we need to take care of this one really quickly. Then the priority is going to be on the guard who went uh, stage right. Because he'll eventually patrol to the end of that hallway. And he might find uh, the one guard's body who we dumped. I'm going to make sure that the other one who walked away is far out of the way and won't be patrolling back into the station. I don't see the third guard, and I don't like that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did you see that sprint? Shit, he found the body. He doesn't know where I am. And he didn't wake his boy up, so we're still okay. I know you're here. Just do a little bit of ring around the rosy with him. And, uh, he'll use his friend as a pillow. What was it? Why did you end up there when I dropped you? Yeah, use your friend as a pillow. As a big old... Daki Makara. Oh, hell yeah, that's the episode title. <laughs> I found it nice and early today. Okay, so we have one more hurdle to overcome, and then it's pretty much smooth sailing. And we're going to really aggressively blink behind this guy while we have his back. That's well worth the mana cost. We'll dump him up here on the second floor with the other guy. And then there's... Oh, I forgot. There is one more guard. And he is somewhere. Oh! Should I just go now? I'm worried he's going to turn around suddenly. Yeah. Okay, he turned around... In the, in the good direction. Facing away from the door. That gives us the guard post key, uh, which opens these locked doors over here. And the one on the third floor that was locked. Doesn't look like... Well, we already know where Lizzie is, never mind. Uh, there's still some other things that you can get from unlocking some of the cells. They're little bits and baubles. And we don't have the ammunition locker key, which I actually don't remember where that is. I think it's on one of the guards. Or it's on a table somewhere. Uh, it's not terribly important. We have both of the runes from this mission. There's an outsider shrine that's randomized in one of the cells. Okay. And even though you hear a lot of grunting and, and, like, throat clearing and stuff, you don't have to worry about patrolling guards. That's not going to be a problem. 
So we discovered where Lizzie's cell is. We have something else that we have to do before we can break her out. Because the cell is locked down and we don't have a key to the cell, we need to open it electronically. This is another forbidden area, but there's nobody who patrols up here. So as long as you get in... Un well, there no, there is one guard who patrols, but he was the first guard that we took out at the start of the episode. This controls all the cell doors. So the way this is going to work is we'll input the cell number and then pull the lever. And that's what this memo explains. So she is A00. So we're going to set this to A for the cell block. And then it's already on 00. zero. Uh, she can be in one of six cells. And then you can also open the rest of the cells in the entirety of Cold Ridge Prison from there. And get access to anything or anyone that's inside. But, since we don't really need any of that, we're fine to just come through this way. And also, we haven't been detected or done anything to raise any alarms, so we can, we can still freely traverse the non-forbidden zones. Oh, it's just the post key. I was hoping that it would be the uh, ammunition locker key. Now, there are still a few guards, but none of them are near us. There's one patrolling the second or third floor in this cell block. There are a couple of them behind us, behind the gate, but they can't see us. Lizzie's tried. She's in rough shape. So we're good. We're mostly home free. Stop, Lizzie. I'm not telling shit. We... Doubt. Is that right? Whoever sent you, I'll pay double. I've come to break you out. You can owe me the favor. What kind of favor? Doesn't matter. You'll be dead in another day here. What kind? It's just a boat trip. Up river. Past the blockades. Then you're out of luck. My boat, the Undine, now it belongs to someone else. My second in command double crossed me and took it. A little shit named Edgar Wakefield. It's a situation I'm familiar with. Can you walk? Get me out of this damn thing and I'll fly. I can pay you to get rid of Wakefield. It'll be my pleasure. Come on. I'll just get my tiara. Down. I think I... Oh. I'll have to carry her out. So one more complication, but because we were so thorough about clearing all the guards out, we can walk straight out of the cell blocks. There are no guards waiting for us uh, in that junction room. So that means it's a straight line out of here. We do have to be careful because the guards will notice that we're carrying a prisoner over our shoulders. And that'll raise an alarm. But at this point, even if we do get detected... They can't lock the prison down, which seems like a big security oversight. How? Maybe they saw Lizzie... This mask Even though I was concealed, maybe they saw her poking out of cover? That had to be it. Uh, also, we can't sprint. So we're just slowly walking through the gunfire and, and alert guards. And out here, there's a music box from an overseer, so we can't use magic, so we're still... Just slowly walking, taking a nice scenic stroll into the sewer with a good buddy, Lizzie Stride. While the gunfire pops and bangs behind us. We're still being shot at. Ready to go, sir. Let's go. We at least didn't kill anyone. We, if it wasn't for the fact that they saw Lizzie while I was taking cover, we would have gotten out of that, probably, uh, is changing fast. as a ghost. Six months ago, Draper's ward was where Dunwall's rich and well-born strolled and shopped and 
try to be seen. The plague burned through it in days. Today it's a battleground where two street gangs fight over the spoils. The Hatters and Lizzie's gang, the Dead Eels. Lizzie Stride was the boss until Edgar Wakefield betrayed her and took her place. And her riverboat. It's the kind of thing that happens every day in Dunwall. I don't judge him. I've done worse myself. But I need that boat. Edgar Wakefield and I have business. Yeah, we're always going to go for the favor that grants us a rune. And the supply cache is pretty cheap, so we'll pick that up too. May as well. And... Yeah, I do believe I want the boot stealth. Why not? We don't really have that much else to purchase. And I think that is going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Oh, wait! The textile mill used to run off a water wheel before the canal went dry. It started up again recently. And whatever the Hatters did to get it working has enraged the dead eels. They're fighting in the streets. Yeah, Guard mentioned keeping the Hatters separated from the eels in the last mission. Anyway, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that good stuff, and ring the bell. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one. <laughs>